we are going to diagnose this Hayward Universal H series heater not reading in this homeowner's Hayward OmniLogic system. He should be able to turn this heater on, off, adjust temperatures from his unit and his app rather than having to walk over here to the heater itself and adjust it manually. So we're gonna start super simple. Phrase kiss, keep it simple, stupid. We're just gonna check to verify that this heater is programmed into this system on the correct relay. It's very simple to do, we'll walk you through it now. All right, so in OmniLogic systems and panels, um, in order for you to change any programming, you gotta go in the configuration mode. Um, you have to start with system info. This gives you an MSID number, which is that right there. This is what will unlock the configuration menu to allow you to make changes. So this is 121648. So we go back here, then we go into configuration wizard, you type that number in, one, two, one, six, four, eight. Now you're in your programming mode. This system has obviously been installed for a while, so we're not going to configure a new system. We're gonna edit an existing one. Edit there. Um, we're gonna go bodies of water. This is only a swimming pool. This would be where you'd see pool or spa if you had both. Um, this is just a pool. So we're gonna click into that body of water right there so this is the problem with this system right here there's no heater added you can see the yellow line it means nobody ever programmed a heater into this omni panel so we're going to add the heater no cool down enabled um, no extend so these are all options if you have like automated valves or if your your heater shares your pool and spa system so like if you went to put it in spa mode and then it valves turn so that way you're only heating the spa that's what these extended and different settings are but this is a basic system with just heating the pool all right so maximum water temperature for homeowners you know i like to set it i, I would never recommend heating a pool to 104 but i never want to limit a homeowner to doing that so i'll leave that set at 104 but typically nobody wants the pool heated any warmer than 85 to 88. Um, so this is a gas unit runs off of liquid propane we'll just name the heater gas and then this is where we find the relay that it's wired to one thing we looked for initially when we got the call that he can't control his heater from the unit is to make sure there is a data cable hooked up this heater in order to be fully bypassed has a data cable that hooks into the control board of this heater into the control panel of the omni so just we haven't checked the wiring yet we're just starting with the basics but this is a data cable and it runs straight through the system and into the omni panel so everything looks good for now all right, so which relay is it wired to? I'm gonna click on that. And normally, let's see, so normally it would be in low voltage relay one is where they would wire the heater. We're gonna check this and then if not, go back through it and actually open this panel up and see where it is. But let's just see if this is real correct. Next, does not have a valve. That would be if a valve needs to turn to open water flow to the heater minimum pump speed operations. So these heaters have safety sensors on them to where if the water flow is not flowing through that heater properly, it will kick the heater off. Um, this is obviously for reasons of not overheating water or water not circulating through the heater properly. I like to set the minimum operation at much higher, closer to like 80%, just for safety reasons. And that's it. We'll hit save here. You're gonna hit that, that's save. Now you want to save changes, yes. And it's going to reboot the whole system so everything will turn off. All right, so we have that heater now wired into a relay, but this is also without us checking to make sure it's wired properly in here. Let's just walk over the heater and see if it fixes it. This heater right now is set in what's called standalone mode, which means this you control the heater from the unit itself. So you right now it's in standby. If you want to put it in pool and set your temperature, it'll come on but we don't want that. We want to be put in what's called bypass operation mode. This allows the Omni panel to control the heater rather than from the unit itself. So let me show you how to do that. To put this unit into bypass operation, it's as simple as holding the mode button down with the minus button for three to five seconds. And what you'll see is a BO will pop up on the control panel. That means it's now in bypass operation. That means everything will be controlled from the Omni panel. Now to make it active, 
go down to pool, because that's what we have as a pool, and leave that middle light on there. Now everything else should be controlled from the panel. All right, so since that did not work, we have that heater in bypass operation mode. We have it wired into a relay, but it's still not reading that heater and allowing it to fire through the panel. So what we're gonna do is take apart this Omni panel and check the data cable from the heater to the control board and make sure everything's wired properly. All right, so one thing you're gonna have to do obviously is unplug your salt cell from the control panel. This allows the front panel to come off. And one thing we're gonna do for safety, um, this is the sub panel that controls power to this. So we're gonna go ahead and first turn the pump off from the panel here, the pool pump. I never like to just kill power breaker wise off a pump when it's wired into an Omni panel. So I go in here, filter pump, turn that off. So that's off. I'll come down here to the sub panel and it's literally labeled pool panel. We're just gonna turn that off. So that kills all power going into here. That way while we're in this panel working, we have no chance of being shocked. All right, so we took this panel apart. Um, what we did is take off our, our bus that is in control of the heater, as well as your low voltage relay two, three, and four. Um, so we already went ahead and tightened it, but what the issue was, was a loose data cable running from this control panel to that heater. As simple as we took a wire off, stripped it back a little bit, and tightened it down onto this bus. Now we're good. All right, so now we're going to turn the heater on from this panel rather than the unit itself. See if we get some heat. All right, so as you can see, we are up and running. Um, it is running in bypass operation, which means everything's being controlled from there. Um, when a propane heater ignites, you feel heat coming out of the exhaust. I know you can't feel that through the camera, but we are ignited and up and running. Good to go. All right, so that's a wrap on this heater repair. Um, this homeowner is now able to control his heater from his Omni panel um, through his app, completely automation, nothing. He does not have to walk back to that unit at all to control the temperature. All right, so if you are a, uh, a pool owner in the Myrtle Beach, Surfside, Myrtle's Inlet, um, anywhere within that surrounding area with a uh, Hayward Omni system and you need either help with your existing system or you see this video and you want automation, you hit us up. We're Hayward authorized dealers and uh, we get you taken care of. All right, as always, appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope uh, this helps in any way possible. Um, if you wanna see more tips and tricks, don't be afraid to hit that like button and subscribe.